guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, I'm Taylor, and today I'm going to be filming my pack and prep with me for Disney World. I cannot believe it is already here. We are actually three days away, and if you have been following me, you know that I am not a last minute packer. This is very last minute to me. So, and I honestly don't even think we're gonna get it all done today because it is late. Work has been kicking my butt. I have just been <laughs> unable to do this as I would have liked to do like a week ago. So here we are, but we're not panicked. I have everything set aside. I have been using my trusty little tip that I mentioned in my previous pack and prep with me for my last Disney trip. Start putting everything that you're going to use in another bedroom or in just another space where you have it all set to the side. And as you think what you need for like a month in advance, just start putting some stuff off to the side. So I've been doing that. I've stopped wearing clothes that I know I wanna wear. I've started kind of brainstorming. Do I wanna take this? Do I wanna take that? And putting it on the bed in the guest room. So we have everything we need behind me, everything that I know I'm going to take and possibly leave even some of this behind. I'm not so sure I am an overpacker, which that's totally fine. I would rather be more prepared than not, but I may leave a few things behind. So anywho, we have everything we need. We have a small Target order. I'm gonna to need to go to Target again, so that may be on the video. I am going to get my Manny Petty for sure, so that's gonna be Friday. So Target and Manny Petty Friday, and we leave Saturday morning at 7 a.m. So that might be on the video, just some definite like last minute stuff. And I may or may not go back to get adjusted for my chiropractor. I've already been twice, so if you know, follow along, you also know that I really like to make sure that I'm all in alignment before I go on a trip like this, that I'm gonna be walking a lot and stuff like that. So let's get into it. We've got toiletries, makeup, hair care, skin care, everything behind me to pack. My husband and I are going to share a checked bag luggage. My mother-in-law did give us this really cute Mickey Mouse luggage that we're going to share. So we'll use like each half a side, although this is like a more traditional luggage in the sense that it's got like tons of pockets on the outside, it's not a hard shell. So there's gonna be some extra space in there, I think. Hopefully for souvenirs, it's not completely full. And then we are each going to take a carry-on and a personal item. So we are going to be there for, let's see, seven days, seven nights, eight days. So it's going to be a long trip. We definitely wanna be prepared. The weather right now, let's do a weather check because I had been keeping up with it, but that fluctuates. So let's take a look and see what the weather says right now. Right now it is showing Saturday when we get in a low of 64, high of 84 and sunny. Sunday, Magic Kingdom day, there's a 40% chance of rain with a low of 55 and a high of 75. So a bit cooler, definitely going to want to have a poncho for that day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is sunny with lows in the 40s and highs in the 60s, so a bit chillier. And then Thursday, cloudy and chilly, still low in the 40s, high in the 60s. Friday, low in the 50s, a little bit of sun peeking through the clouds, high of 69. Some pretty consistent weather, I would say. We're gonna be getting there at the end of this little heat wave they're having with high of, highs of low 80s. I'm good with that. I really just would like to be there while it's cold. So my hope is that I pack correctly for that. <laughs> That's the weather. Let's get into it. Okay, so for jewelry, and there's like a shadow here right now because I'm filming at night. So for jewelry, I'm thinking I might take a couple of Mala bracelets. My mother-in-law did make me this, which is so cute. It has my name on it. Let's see if you can see that little travel jewelry box. So I've already put inside of here all of my Disney jewelry. I have my Mickey necklace. This is from Bobble Bar. Unfortunately, I was hoping to have my Joe and Co necklace. If you watched my pre-Disney haul, you'll know that we ordered it like way before Christmas. Still hasn't come. Super disappointing. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I've got these Bobble Bar Mickey earrings, these bobble bar mini earrings. I picked up this bracelet from French Quarter last time we were there, so definitely going to be taking that. And then my mother-in-law got me this really cute, simple bracelet, so I think I'm also gonna take that. My two Mala bracelets, I think that will be fun to wear to Festival of the Arts. And then for rings, I think I might just take T ring just has my initial on it and I might take my teal 
ring. I think that's it for rings. I already wear my wedding ring and my aura ring all the time. For bracelets, I'm definitely also going to bring my two Pandora charm bracelets. This one just has personal charms on it, but this is my Disney one. So I'll definitely be bringing both of these. I'm gonna store them in this little Jared pouch along with the Mala bracelets. And then I think I'll mostly be wearing the Disney earrings. However, I do think that some fun colored ones would be a good idea for Festival of the Arts. I do have, these are handmade, which will go nice with the bracelets, but I gotta think about my outfit. Right now I'm thinking do something super fun and wear these. So I will put these also in here. And I think that's it for now. I might come back for another pair of earrings kind of once I finalize my outfits. So I have everything laid out on the bed already. This is the way that I focus best when I'm packing. I have t-shirts, bags, jewelry, sweaters, socks, undergarments, lounge wear, bottoms, pajamas, bags. I've got my little target order, a book, and all of my toiletries are currently in the bathroom. So this is where we are at. I have these two bins here that have travel size toiletries and then my Disney bin. So we will be going through that and seeing what we're taking as well. Okay, so as far as skincare, I am going to be taking all of my Tula stuff. I am in the process of changing my skincare routine, so I do wanna use all of this up. I have their Protect and Glow. This is my favorite. I honestly want to keep on using this, but I'm working with a dermatologist right now, and they're like, you see to fill, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, the Colt Classic, love this cleanser. I love Tula, by the way. I'm not changing from Tula because I dislike Tula. Again, it's because I'm working with a dermatologist. This is their Instant Depuff. I'm almost out of this. Honestly, I'd be shocked if I even got like one or two uses out of it. Their Glow and Get It, I love this. I will still be using this under the eyes. And then their Brightening treatment drops. This is the triple vitamin C serum. This is almost out. I'm going to use this up too. This is their 24-7 moisture. I use this at night. I'll be using this up. I have my salt hair deodorant refill. I'm going to put this in the deodorant capsule before we leave. This is the salt hair lip oil balm. This is clear. I love this. I also have their colored one, which I'll show in my makeup. And then I'm also going to take these glow recipe products that I need to use. This is a watermelon glow AHA night treatment. I do love that paired with a few of their other products. I'll be doing this at least a couple nights there. This is a watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner. I do love all of glow recipes products. Watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops. I'll be using these as well. And of course, my Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this mask. So this is gonna be my skincare. I do need to also pack some extra nighttime moisturizer and that's just gonna be the Cetaphil. I'm gonna put it in a container because this is not gonna last me. But other than that, I should have enough wash. I do have wash in here that I need to use up too. So I think I'm gonna put that in another little travel container. And then that's my skincare. I love this little bag from Tula too, super nice. And then for makeup, I'm gonna be using my little Fawn bag here inside. I've just kind of shoved everything in. I will organize it before it goes in the suitcase. I have this NARS. This is the Laguna bronzer. The lighting is so bad that it's not focusing well, but that's the way it's going to be when we're filming at night. I'm also going to bring my Thrive Cosmetics. This is my eyeshadow. I'll be using this pretty much daily. I'm simple with eyeshadow. I've got a sponge here. This is my fix and stay over setting spray from MAC. Of course, an eyelash curler. This is NARS multi-way stick in South Beach. I'm going to be bringing my Lumi Glotion. I know this is like super TikTok popular now, but I have been using this for so, so long since like 2016. When I lived in Hawaii, I would just throw this on since I had such a lovely tan and this just gave me a glow and I've used it ever since. So this is kind of my quick makeup routine, this little bit of bronzer, mascara. I'll be taking that. This is my NARS red lip color. I do wanna have a bold lip at least a couple days there. My Arbonne pencil for my eyebrows. This is the Tula filter primer, be using that. I have two Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This is blush from e.l.f. These are the colors Berry Radiant and Rose You Slay. I really like both of these colors. And some Fenty Beauty concealer. Got a little pencil sharpener for my NARS stick and that's pretty much it. This is my all-in-one palette from Saint. I'll most likely bring this too with a brush. 
So that's it for makeup. Oh, and for skincare, I'm also going to bring my Tula So Poreless Exfoliating Scrub. I'm gonna be using that, have to exfoliate at least once a week minimum. And then I'm gonna finish up my Honest Prime and Perfect Mask. I really like this mask. This is an acai berry mask, all natural, smells really lovely just from the natural fruit in it, not because they've added fragrance. This is a really great little mask, so I'm gonna use this up as well. Big tip, use up those products that you're almost out of. That way you are getting your money's worth and then you are traveling back home with even less stuff than you left there with. Pending, of course, you don't get too many souvenirs. <laughs> All right, and then over here, I have my Fawn toiletry case. I just had face wash explode everywhere, so that's still kind of a mess I need to clean up. But anywho, over on this side, I am gonna be taking my Oral-B IO. I have to replace the head and put that in there right before we go. I have to travel toothpaste, another pro tip, use the ones you get from your dentist. I have an extra hair tie. Dr. Tongue's Smart Floss is hands down the best floss. I have my tongue cleaner here. And then I've got Lange Deja Vu's Dry shampoo. I'm also going to be bringing some salt and sea texturizing spray. I'm going to put that in a smaller bottle and I'm also going to be bringing some thermal magic. This is a heat humidity tamer. I'm going to bring that in a smaller bottle as well. And then I still have some shampoo and conditioner left here. This is my favorite brand for hair care right now, Innersense. So the problem is I don't have this specific one right now to refill these. I'm using a different one. So I may just have to put my shampoo and conditioner in a different container because that's just not enough. On this side, I have makeup remover wipes, which I do have more for my Target haul. I need to put in here some foot relief Aveda cream that is almost gone, so I'll use that up. This is some Away wave spray as well. I can use this up between my husband and myself. He likes wave spray too. This is Inner Senses Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner, some sunscreen. This is IGK's Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. I love that. Some texturizing spray. This is my Olaplex Bonding Oil and Mega Babes Thigh rescue the stuff's great so going to definitely put another one or two makeup removers in here shampoo and conditioner that side should be done and then I need to portion out the other pe the other hair products and put them over here Oh, and can't forget a brush because last time I went to Disney, I forgot a brush and I had to order it from Instacart a brush and it was just a hot mess and the brush smelled weird and it was just really weird, really unfortunate. So this is my wooden brush from Aveda. I love this little brush. I'll be bringing that. I think that's it. Okay, so the lighting in here might be absolutely terrible, but we're gonna roll with it. I have another little fawn bag here that I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put like tampons. I have some liners here because unfortunately it's gonna be that time of the month. I don't know how I've managed to plan vacation on that, but there we go. I've got an extra razor head here. The razor's in my shower, but I will put it in here. Contacts, shout wipes, very important. And I think I'm just gonna go through, I actually got this idea from a YouTuber that I I follow her name is Mackenzie Borg. She kind of gave a tip where she keeps any extra travel size stuff in a container and I thought that's really smart I'm gonna do that. So just in this little cheap container that I had lying around I went ahead and put in we ordered this on Amazon just some little travel size containers. So I am gonna portion out my shampoo and conditioner, Andrew shampoo and conditioner, and then some face wash, body lotions, and some sprays, things like that in here. I am definitely going to pack this Dramamine, but I am going to pack this in our like readily accessible bag, like one of our personal items. So that's for sure going to come. Some lens wipes for my glasses. We both wear glasses. So I'm gonna put those in this little black bag as well. Ponchos, we're definitely going to need ponchos. So I'm just going to bring one for each of us that's all we have if it's not enough we can always get another one at Disney there's a travel lotion in here I'm not gonna bring these are travel little perfume bottles but I can't get them to work nausea bands I will be packing us each a nausea band just in case we never used them last time but sometimes I get sick on the plane and then these are cooling patches that I actually did end up using last time because I was sick, but they're pretty intense. So I think really this is like if you're absolutely sun fatigued or if you have a really bad headache. So I might pack just a couple of these in case anyone gets a headache. There's extra lotion and stuff in here, but I don't think I need anything else in here. As I kind of finish this toiletry portion, I'm realizing that I do still need to get a couple of things from Target. So I will be making a last minute run Friday just for a quick curbside for things like tampons and there's something else on my list. I think it's already in my cart. So I'm gonna use that 
this bag for that. And then this is an idea I actually got from another YouTuber I follow, shout out to all my girls. This is an idea Katie Brown gave everybody that she keeps kind of her Disney stuff in an extra container and I really like that idea too. I have all my Disney stuff in here. I also have our travel packs. So I already charged these, these are all ready to go. So I'm just gonna load these up into our carry-on. That includes some charging cables for all of these as well. And then let me show you guys what I have in my Disney box and I'm definitely gonna be bringing like everything. So in the Disney box, I have my magic band. This is all charged and ready to go. I'll be bringing that. This is a Mickey hat. I'm going to bring this as well. My Monsters University hat. I'm gonna bring both of these. These are little airplane headphones that I think actually were in the other container along with all these chargers, but I threw them in here. Put all those off to the side. I'm also gonna bring my Pooh Bear new Emos. I'm gonna throw him up here with my other new Emos. This is Andrew's magic band. We will be bringing that for sure. This is my ear holder for my bag. Got this on Etsy. Tons of other stuff. This is like a little clip, light clip for your phone. Hair clips, now that my hair is short, I can definitely use those. Little fan, I'm gonna bring this anyway just because it does it did come in handy last time it was very hot but I'm gonna bring it this time too. headphones these probably go in that other travel box that I just accidentally threw in here resort mug we'll be bringing that even though we're not staying at enough like it it's a government owned resort shades of green it's not a Disney resort so I don't think we'll be able to use these there but we're gonna bring them anyway my watch bands got a couple of extra here and then of course all of my ears that I keep in this little fawn bag so all this Disney stuff will definitely be coming Andrew may even rock these hats a couple of days so I know it's not going to be like super sunny or hot a lot of the time that we're there so it says now but I think it will still be cute to have the hats and use them all right let's do a quick target haul I did not get too much stuff this time again I'm gonna have to make a last minute quick trip but in here I have really basic things because I did still have a lot of stuff left over from our trip that just happened a few months ago wet ones Again, just necessity. I don't like go anywhere without those. Some travel toothpaste for Andrew. An extra one in case we need it, which will probably just stay here. Some extra Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I got us each a Purell hand pump. Nest just necessity necessary I and mean, you can't travel without that. I did get one of these little random containers when I did my curbside for Target because I did not go into Target. If you followed me, if you've been following along and you saw my other pack and prep with me, you know that I do not go into Target if I can avoid it. So when I did my curbside, I couldn't get any to go travel containers for shampoo and conditioner or anything like that. Like this is the only thing that they had. So I grabbed one of these, I may use it. And then I did also get a Travel Smart. This is by Conair, it's a digital luggage scale. Since we are going to be taking a checked bag, I thought that this would be really smart to have. So that's it for the Target haul. Super, super small this time. On Friday, I'm gonna also get some liquid IVs just because we really like to have liquid IVs and just walking around all day, even if it's not 100 degrees, I think it's just gonna be really smart to have those extra electrolytes and vitamins. So we're gonna be grabbing liquid IVs for sure. So that is it for the Target haul. I'll be kind of distributing all of that into our carry-ons and personal item. Okay, let's do a quick little run through of what I have going on right now. I have three pajama sets. These are the cotton PJ sets from Victoria's Secret. These are my absolute favorite. I've got a pair of Victoria's Secret sweatpants. I always travel with sweatpants just in case I get cold at night. However, my husband is a very hot sleeper, so I usually sleep in some shorts and cotton PJs are the best for that. I have a couple of bags here I'm going to take. Both of these brand new, I'm very excited to use. I have some new Emos here. I have some chonies and socks. I also have sleep socks. Couple of loungewear sets. These are both from VS as well. You can obviously tell that I love Victoria's Secret. Their quality is just good. And then a little pair of shorts here just to have. These are more loungy shorts I could wear around the resort if needed. Then here in this black pile chaos, I have tons of leggings, literally flare leggings, regular leggings, Airy, Lulu, um, what other brand? I think that's it, Ari and Lulu. And I also have two athletic skirts from Lulu. So I've got tons of bottoms. As you can see, I'm not taking any jeans. Honestly, just not in my jean era right now. All about being comfy, cozy. I'm currently reading The House in the Pine. So if I finish that, I'm gonna be taking heart bones. Honestly, I may be taking heart bones no matter what because I'll probably finish House in the Pines on the way there. Here I have some tops. So just a long sleeve black shirt. I have some basics, got a brown, tea, a black tea, and then I have a bunch of different Disney teas here. So in total, what, one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tees. We can do laundry and we're honestly kind of planning on it anyway, which is fine. Right now I'm just kind of throwing here these. These are my two Lulu fannies. And then this is my cow pack water little sling bag. Don't know if I'm going to take all three, one or two, whatever, I'll figure that out. Jewelry, not sure if I'm gonna bring the visor since it's not gonna be too sunny the whole time we're there. That can always change, but it is gonna get chilly at night. So I'm thinking a couple of beanies would be cute and a scarf just in case. Don't wanna get stuck being very cold. Totally going to bring our Polaroid this time and capture some cute Polaroid pics. And then I will be bringing my bear. Gotta have my bear on a long trip. Normally I won't bring him if it's like a short trip, but I'm gonna bring my bear. and my my emotional sport pillow eye mask. I have like all kinds of silk eye masks I always get and stuff as gifts, but honestly a cotton eye mask is just the best. I have over here sweaters, so I don't know that I'm gonna bring all of these, but this is just like a brown scuba sweater. I have a couple of sweater tops from Airy, a little sweater from Old Navy, and then down here I have my two Disney sweaters. So, so again, like literally these can all be worn as tops or, you know, with a top or whatever. So I don't know, we'll see. But then I'm also going to for sure bring my Target puffer vest here. And that may not even be what it's called, but that's what we're calling it here. So definitely gonna bring that because it is going to be pretty cold a few nights and I definitely just wanna have some extra protection if needed. So this is what we are working with right now. This is the chaos, but it's very organized. It's just going to be a matter of figuring out what we're definitely taking, fitting mine in my carry-on and then my half of the luggage, which honestly should not be a problem at all. We are still going to go with the roll method that I used in my last pack and prep with me. You guys almost convinced me to get packing cubes. And honestly, I do think I'm going to invest in packing cubes, but it's just not something that we invested for, for this trip. So I'm gonna use my good old roll method, which I don't know, I still feel like I can fit more that way. So tell me down below in the comments if I'm wrong. I know last time everyone's like, we love packing cubes, you gotta try them, but do you fit more in your packing cubes? Let me know. So, all right, I think it's time to pack. All right, so it is now the next day. I just got so tired yesterday and I needed to put off the actual packing of the suitcases part until today. So literally still in my scrubs. We leave in two days, <laughs> less than two days really. We leave in like 36 hours and I'm like, this is the closest to a trip I've ever packed. <laughs> but I have re-put everything on my bed because I had to take it off and go to sleep, obviously. So everything's back out. Let's get to packing. This will be the fun part. I'm going to do the rolling method, like I mentioned. I'm going to use half of the large checked bag suitcase. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. And then my carry-on and my personal item. So I really do need to condense some things. Let's do it. Let's just <laughs> get this stuff packed so I can move on. Okay, so this is what we are working with. We have this giant suitcase my mother-in-law loaned us. It's so cute. It has Mickey on it. How perfect. Literally when she said, I have a suitcase, it's red. I, I said, it's got Mickey on it. And my husband's like, it has Mickey on it. I was like, yep, I knew it, which is perfect. So I have a strict no suitcases on the bed policy. They're disgusting unless I literally bleach and Clorox wipe the wheels, which I'm not going to do. So I'm going to put it on my chest and let's get this half packed. Hopefully I don't seep into my husband's side at all. This is the first time I opened the suitcase. It is not a hard shell suitcase. Of course there is no half side of the suitcase. <sighs> you guys, I'm not typically this hot of, <laughs> this of a hot mess like about traveling. Anyway, let me show you guys what I'm working with here. Let's pivot. <laughs> Clearly, I do not have, I mean, imagine if I told my husband that this is what he gets to use. Okay, I get half of this. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to start with what I absolutely know I'm taking because there's still a few things I'm just not quite sure. Like I may have one too many pajamas or I may switch one out for like this long sleeve, really cute set from Magnolia that I have. And then I may toss a sweater or two. So let's take what I absolutely need. I have decided to take my heating pad because it's gonna be that time of the month, which is absolutely lovely. So I anticipate to be possibly on my deathbed the first day, second day there. So heating pad for sure. Okay, so last time, if you watched my previous pack and prep with me, I did show some outfits that I had planned. This time I'm doing it a little bit differently. I'm really kind of just getting basic. So tons of leggings, tons of t-shirts, like that's gonna be it. 
I'm not going to be wearing like, you know, a dress one day or something like that versus previously. Like I was like, it's my birthday. I want to wear a dress or we're going to go to do this and I want to have this sort of outfit. I'm not really going for that this time. I'm just going to really go for like being able to mix and match leggings with a top and a sweater. So I'll kind of show you guys some ideas of what I have going on. Definitely show you the shirts that I got from Park Hop Tees and the sweaters, but that's kind of it. Just really, really kind of throwing it back to how I used to pack and not like really planning specifically every outfit, but giving myself some options. Let me show you. Okay, so for day one, we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom and I have my Lulu biker shorts. I'm definitely gonna wear these, I think, cause it does say high of 80. And then I might just pack like an extra pair of leggings in my park bag in case we are there at night, but we don't plan on being there that night cause we're gonna go earlier in the morning. My family, of course, we had to do like the <laughs> obligatory Disney shirts. My mother-in-law made these, they're super cute. So we're all wearing one, the girls are wearing a mini bow, it says Disney 2024 and the guys are wearing just Mickey. So we're definitely gonna all wear this. Day one especially to get our picture I don't know if I'll rock it all day I really want to see like the way that it fits because it's not meant to be oversized but I got an extra large because I want it to be oversized I don't necessarily know it's going to give me the look I want so I do have this really cute from Park Hop Tees I got this Magic Kingdom tee I do plan on wearing this with these now, if I don't wear it on the first day when we go back to Magic Kingdom, which we will, like if we don't do the parade and the fireworks and all of that the first night, we're definitely gonna go back. So I will wear this shirt at that point. And then depending on the weather, I'll wear it with some leggings or some biker shorts. I'm only gonna take this one pair of biker shorts and then we're just gonna do laundry on our rest days, so. That's one idea. I also have my Lulu athletic skirt. The weather's gonna be kind of up and down. So just depending, I do wanna have like comfortable clothes that I could wear if it's warmer. And then I have this Yesterday Tomorrow Fantasy from Park Hop Tees. So I thought that would be really cute. Day one, we are gonna go like travel day. We are gonna go to Disney Springs. So I could possibly do that or wear this another day, literally anywhere. I know that this is more geared towards Magic Kingdom, but I don't really care. I'll wear it to whatever park. So this is another outfit idea I have. So again, like not really necessarily doing park specific outfits. I'm also going to bring my white athletic Lulu skirt and that would be cute with, this is like a repeat outfit for my first trip, Walt Disney World top that I have here. This is a crop. And then I'm also bringing a couple of basic tees. So it would also look cute with this basic tee if I'm feeling that better that day. All right, I'm going to be bringing some flare leggings from Aerie. These are super cute, cozy, very soft. Absolutely gonna wear this with my Epcot shirt that I got from Park Hop Tees, the hottest part on earth. I think that will be really cute. This is oversized. So I think that outfit will just be really, really cute. If it's hot, again, I can swap it out for the biker shorts, but that's my plan for Epcot since I do have this Epcot tee. And then I'm going to bring literally another pair of the same leggings and then a pair of their leggings that aren't flared. So <laughs> tons of leggings. And I have this happiest place, which I know we're going to the most magical place on earth, but nonetheless, I have this and my Mickey tee. So I'm just going to kind of swap out. I'm also bringing another basic black tee. Being able to swap those out with literally any sweater combo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring this scuba hoodie from Old Navy, but it would be cute to wear the scuba with the puffer vest one day if it gets cold or one evening. I also have this pool over from Park Hop Tees, which I just think is gonna be super cute to wear with some leggings as well. My Hoka's or my Crocs, those are the only two shoes I'm taking. I haven't debated if I'm bringing either of these. These are both from Aerie, but it's gonna be cold and I'm getting a little bit like, Am I packing warm enough? Like, I don't know, low 40s some nights and it's dropping like around six, so I don't know. This is just another basic pullover. Might wear this one at the airport. And then I have my other Disney pullover. Definitely going to wear this to Hollywood Studios with some flare leggings. That outfit is so cute. I wear it all the time already, so. That is definitely a Hollywood Studios outfit. So as far as outfits, that's it. Um, we'll see the way this plan goes. I feel like it's gonna be good. I'm not necessarily like, oh, this, I have to wear this this day. Besides like, I definitely obviously wanna wear my Epcot shirt to Epcot. And I absolutely wanna wear the studio shirt to Hollywood Studios and my Magic Kingdom to Magic Kingdom. But we're going to be going to each part, possibly in the, the beginning of the day, taking a break and going back. If I sweat at all, I'm not wearing a repeat outfit that night. Like I'm not gonna put the same outfit on after I go back to the hotel and rest. So I'll switch over to something else. So that is kind of why I'm like, you know what, just bring a variety, bring a few plain staple t-shirts, bring a few different things, a few different sweaters and stuff. So I think it's gonna work out well. I feel good about it. I just 
want to be sure that I'm prepared for very cold weather in the low 40s and then also very warm weather in the low 80s. We'll find out, I guess worst case scenario, I could always go into one of the shops and buy something I need, right? So when I talk about my roll method, there's just fuzz and golden retriever and cat hair everywhere. I always kind of fold everything into a very nice ball. For instance, with the leggings, roll in, and then I'm just going to start rolling them like that. And I'm gonna roll every single clothing item that I have like this. And I have faith I will use up only my space in that suitcase. <laughs> So just to show you, I just fit all of my leggings on this side of this suitcase using that roll method. So far so good. I've only used up my half. I kind of went over just a smidge here, but he can put some on top. So other than that, I have my sweaters that I'm gonna go through. These can definitely go in my carry-on with my bags and everything else. And then I still have my, my personal item, my, and it's a duffel bag. So I think we're doing okay. I have my airport outfit here. This is just leggings, a basic tee, and then a little um, pullover. We're making good progress. Let's keep going. terrible over here but I went ahead and threw these two on top because I still need space for my toiletries <laughs> my goodness I'm gonna go ahead and leave behind the waffle button up and the scuba all right so getting smart with some space I put all like charging cords in here that are not like our phone and stuff but like for our charging packs and like the mickey fan and the mickey light and everything magic band all that's in here trying to use that extra space in here i have just some extra cleaning stuff little lysol spray some wet ones and then i have downy wrinkle release and then some pain spray got my makeup skincare this will go in one of our personal items this is all the meds so i highly recommend doing something like this again like i'm an over preparer but I'd rather have more and like anything I could possibly need than nothing. I have Tylenol, Advil, thermometer, we have headache salve, muscle salve, we have allergy medicine, some cooling patches for headaches, nausea medicine, a heating pad that you can just like put on your skin and it activates, then my vitamins. So iron, omega-3s, and my probiotics are all in here too. Probiotics come in this cute little glass container from Seed for travel, so that's really nice. But got all of that in like my favorite Arbon bag ever. Got my toiletries. I'm gonna kind of leave it open and loose because I'm gonna be coming back to it. I'll go ahead and slide my poncho in here. Extra watch band, this is Disney, so cute. Ear holder, fan. Light ears for a phone. I have my period underwear in here, but I need that space because they're very thick. So I'll probably just kind of throw the hair clips and stuff in the loose parts of the bag. This thing never fits anywhere. All right, so I think that's it for my carry-on. Pretty much all the space is taken, souvenirs, what? I don't know, but that's where we are. And now I still have my personal item. All that needs to go in my personal item is this miscellaneous stuff in my ears because I like to keep those nice and safe. And my bear is coming with. Andrew will take my little travel pillow because I like to have that too, but oh, that's it guys. I'm going to get a collapsible water bottle as well and chargers the morning of. All right, on to my personal item. This is my Luca Duffel from Calpac. I reviewed this in a previous video. Check that out if you're interested. It also has a shoe compartment. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my Crocs in there and wear my Hoka's at the airport, but my husband's gonna clean those for me, so I'm not gonna put them in there yet. <music> So in 
my personal item, I have my book, some snacks, ready, just accessible hand wipes and sanitizer. I have my ears, hats, Polaroid jewelry, and then I still have plenty of space in here. I've got my charging packs over here with some Polaroid film, and then I have my headphones in here as well. I'm going to throw in my iPad the morning of once that's all charged and ready to go, and then I still need to put my tampons in here so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in there but that is it is that it guys like can we really be done my back like actually hurts <laughs> i am so glad that this is done i have managed to save half of the suitcase space for my husband i have my carry-on ready to go and close once i toss in like my toothbrush i'm kind of debating on the hair clips in there i think i might move them into my personal item because i don't want them to get crushed because last time united had no space for our bags and we need to check them there and back so I'm anticipating that happening and honestly hopefully nothing gets lost right because like <laughs> all my stuff is uh is 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 in these bags that we're gonna probably end up checking even the carry-on so my personal item is done I have plenty of space in here for my iPad and my bear and I think that's it I'm gonna go ahead and wear my puffer vest to the airport as well just carry that if needed I'm gonna toss in a collapsible water bottle in here and I think I have everything. I'm gonna pick up a few things at Target tomorrow, get my nails done. I'll bring you guys along for that. And I think I'm just gonna close it out now though. I'll kind of toss some of that footage in there, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end it now. This has been a really fun pack with me, a little bit more chaotic it felt than last time, but maybe last time felt was chaotic too and I just don't remember. But thanks for being here today, guys. I hope that I gave you some ideas and how you could pack for your upcoming Disney trip or any trip using a folding method or how you might share a suitcase with a partner or a friend or any anybody that you are traveling with and just kind of some necessities and things that maybe you hadn't thought about that you saw that I'm packing and if there's something that I forgot or something that you always bring on your trips that isn't here that I'm packing let me know down in the comments below I'm super excited to go on this Disney trip stay tuned because I'm going to be bringing all the Disney footage to you we're gonna do all the parks we're gonna have so much fun we're gonna be there for seven days eight days I think and it's just it's gonna be epic so stay tuned guys if you haven't already hit the thumbs up it really helps me out and subscribe if you are gonna follow along on this Disney Disney journey, my second Disney trip in six months. Absolutely crazy. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So I also like to sit down the night before and think about what videos, what movies and things that I want to have downloaded for the airplane and also for the hotel in case the Wi-Fi sucks and I like to have my comfort shows at night. My husband and I are watching The Crown right now. We're super into it. So I think I'm going to do Persuasion because this movie makes me happy all the time. I love a good period piece. Let's do The Crown. Okay. So a few things there from Voodoo. This is where we have all our like downloaded movies. I always have stuff downloaded here. So let's see right now up here. I have, see, I always have a period piece, Pride and Prejudice, a Harry Potter, and then some Disney movies. So you can also do this from Disney plus, but I own a bunch of these. So I'm definitely going to do Coco Monsters Inc. These are all just so good. Go to Disney plus downloads. I have the Mickey story. So a lot of these have expired too. So I'm going to get rid of these. There's a behind the attraction episode so i can download a few from here too what do we love Mad jungle cruise is always good mm -hmm. love jungle cruise turning red yeah i think that's good so now i've got some movies and stuff so i like to do that beforehand mm -hmm.